hello friends welcome back to my channel so here just i am going to see how we can convert a video into an ms sequence just in after effect i have imported this video here so if you want to import your video then simply click on file then click on import then from here you can select your folder after this you can select your video so here just this video i have imported you and now first in after effect we have to create a composition so then select your footage and just drag and drop into a new composition icon then simply select and just drag and drop here now select and just drag and drop so here just you have created a, a composition and also you have inserted your footage into that composition okay suppose just i have deleted this one here and second option if you are not getting a new composition or all these things here then simply you can select your video this one and just simply drag and drop into this composition icon both are same select then simply you can drag and drop okay so with the help of two options simply you can create your composition and you can also put your video into that composition okay so here in your composition first we have to check our composition information so just select your composition so anyone you can select because here both are same just i have selected here so here you can check this is your composition information so here it's showing 3840 means this is like a 4k footage so if you want you can export your sequence in 4k but here uh, i am not going to export in 4k because it will take too much time and also it will heavy in peer track or in other software so before exporting just i want to little bit resize this one here so first select so here just i have to select our composition then click on composition and after this we have to click on composition settings so from here if you want you can change your frame size because it will take too much time and it will be heavy in pf track and new other software also so just here i am going to little bit resize this one here so just i am going to type here simply just 1920 1080 maybe proportion just i have logged here so 1920 1080 here you can see even if you want to change your frame rate you can also select your desired frame rate from here so from here you have to select only movies frame rate maybe 25 appear 29.9 say 24 like this okay so from here if you want you can also change your sequence frame rate even if you want to change your starting frame of your composition means by default if you will generate a sequence it will start from zero so easily you can see here but if you want it will start from frame one then from here you can change okay so just i have changed here one remaining things you can change frame rate frame size and start frame okay after this just simply press ok now here you will see you have just a little bit resize down your composition size so here just it's trimming your footage so easily you can see so after this what we have to do we have to just resize this footage according to our composition frame size so for this simply right click transform and just simply click on fit to comp again select this one and press s s means just size so here both should be same this is important okay so just i have successfully resized our composition size and also just i have fit our footage into our desired frame size so in timeline suppose before uh, exporting your footage if you want to let me trim your footage means if you want to trim from starting then easily frame from here just you can just trim like this okay if you want you can trim from starting even same if you want to just let me export only till here like uh, only till 276 frame there you can just trim footage like this okay so if you want you can just trim here after this just i have to press here and and means end points like this okay so this is our work area because in after effects if you will export your sequence it will export only from your work area like here if you will check now if you will export so it will export to 76 frame okay it will not export after this even if you are trimming or not okay so here if you are doing like this after this it will not export okay so if you want you can trim after this you can just define work area or simply you can define work area but this is totally depends on you now after this just i am going to export this video into a image sequence after this from here just i have to select our timeline then click on a composition then we have to click on add to render queue then click here after this from here you can select your format live tiff png whatever you want so just even png or tiff so just i am going to export in png sequence okay 
then press ok from here you can select your folder so just click in this folder just create a new folder if you have a gst folder then you can select then just i have selected this one so downside this is the main important things here just you can give a name so before underscore okay this is important so this is your footage name then underscore this one you have to remove here you have to put dot so this is your just padding so this underscore so just select and remove and put it here dot so this is the main important things if you are working for match move okay so now after this just simply click on save then simply click on render here now here in downside you will see your footage is converted into image sequence with all your settings now here as in premiere pro so just i have imported our footage here now first we have to create a new sequence so just select and drag and drop here even you can select your footage then drag and drop here so just i have selected and just i am going to drag and drop here select and just drag and drop here so here just uh, i have created a sequence so here just i am going to convert this video into an image sequence so, so just let it be adjusted here so this is our in prima timeline so again same thing first we have to check our sequence frame size so just i have selected sequence in timeline then simply click on sequence then click on sequence settings so easily from here you can see this, this is automatically created a sequence according to your footage so even if you want to change then from here you can change so just i am going to just 920 1080 so just type it here Ten eighty. Okay. Even if you want to, you can also change your frame rate here. So from here, you can select your required frame rate before exporting your sequence. So just I have selected these options here. Then click on OK. So just select this one and just double click it here. So even you see here, it's not showing your footage bonding box. Means your footage size is little bit bigger than your frame size. So for this, just simply right click here, then click on scale to frame size here. Now you can see, okay. So this is your bonding box. So now you have just um, uh, resize your footage according to your frame size which is our 19 20 10 80 again same if you want little bit trim your footage then from here you can click and just trim like this same as suppose if you want to just export till here then from end also you can trim then you can shift like this after they just i'm going to export this footage so for this just simply again click on file click on export then click on media then let me move it here so from here you can select your format with tip png all these things so just select tiff maybe even if you want you can png even you can select your desired sequence frame rate so again same here just now i'm going to select tiff okay this one now output name just click here after the you can select your folder where you want to just save your sequence so in our export folder so now just give a proper name then simply click on save then suppose here a little bit if you want to set your starting frame then you can click here after this you can type it here simply just i am going to export from here so just just click on export now here it will generate a sequence for you now here you can check so this is our sequence from premiere and uh, this is our sequence from after effects okay so just uh, from both software i have exported these sequences here after this you can import these sequence in your uh, desired composition software or match move softwares